not Bonnie Murray. I'm gonna make fun of you. <laughs> it was it starting? Yeah, I have just started it. So you're in it. It is going to be on three stores I went to. Oak, um, I don't remember the other two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this one's for real. What's up guys, it's me Drew and I'm going to be doing a shopping haul for you. I have literally not shopped in forever and so I decided that over these past two weeks I was just going to spend all my money that I have in all my accounts and so now I'm broke. Anyways, I have three different stores that I shopped at. Zara, Oak, and oh yeah, the H&M for Alexander Wayne collection. So I think I'm just going to start off right at Oak because I actually went to their sample sale. If you didn't know, Oak is like a streetwear brand and I'll put a link to their store in the down bar below, but they have a store in New York and they also have one in Los Angeles. Most of the pieces I got were actually basics just because I feel like that's what they are almost focused on is almost basic pieces with almost an edgy sort of streetwear take on a lot of them. And the first piece that I got was this gray shirt and what drew me to it was the hemline on it. It's actually completely squared off and the front is pretty high compared to the back and I just like it to layer under sweaters and even under just like jacket. It creates a little bit of a different hemline and I don't know, it, it, it's very visually interesting I think. The second shirt is one I'm pretty iffy on, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to style it or wear it, but I thought it was a pretty good deal. It was only like $10 marked down from like $70 or something like that, but it's this white one and it has buttons down the front. It's pretty basic and it's almost like peasanty slash piratey, I don't even know. It's just very flowy and all the edges on it are raw and I thought it was a pretty nice piece to layer with. The third one was one of my favorites that I've also been wearing so much recently. It is a long tee. I have never had a long tee before and so I got this one. It has a raw hemline and I just really liked the navy blue color of it and I would have gotten in multiple more colors if they had them and the fabrics on all these shirts are just amazing. They're all made by actually American Apparel. American Apparel bought out Oak and so they're all made for like American Apparel fabric. The zipper in Oh, Marie, you looked at me, I saw you! Sorry, I thought you were holding it up and I wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> the last piece I got from Oak was this green sweater, and I think what mainly drew me to the sweater was actually, first of all, the color, and then second of all, the neckline. It has this really cool cowl neckline with a zipper that could actually be adjusted to be more open or more closed, and I thought it was a really great layering piece again, just as like a basic to put under a jacket or to layer with like a t-shirt or whatever, depending on how cold it is that day, and I just really liked the piece, and it was only $30 marked down for like $165, so I felt like I had to get it. The second store I shopped at was Zara, and of course, as many of you guys know, Zara is my favorite, all-time favorite, just like actual physical store you can walk into. I absolutely love Zara, and the first thing I got was this pair of jogger pants, and I have another pair like this, but these ones really reminded me of a nice pair of Kylie Jenner jogger pants that she was wearing in one of her photos. And it's, it's a joke that me and all my friends have. We all want to be Kylie Jenner, so I try to get some nice Kylie Jenner pieces. The zippers on the front, and I really like the fit on the leg. They're like very tight, and they're not very loose and joggery. They're more of almost a skinny sweat jogger pant, and I think that's what mainly drew me to them. I think they look really cool with some of the shoes I'm going to show you guys as well. So my first of four new pairs of shoes to share with you guys is this one I also got at Zara. These are a pair of black almost ankle boots and I really love these. I shared them with you guys in my October favorites video but I haven't hauled them yet so I thought I'd share them with you guys in this haul but these are my new favorite boot. I'm not a fan of like high top boots so this was just a perfect compromise I guess for a boot. The second pair of shoes I got from Zara have to be my new favorite pair but I've only worn them once just because they made my feet pretty much bleed the first time I wore them but anyways they are just creeper inspired shoe and they have pony hair on the front of them which I've always wanted a shoe with pony hair on them but I just thought these ones were really cool. They are pointed at the toe which I wanted a pointy toe shoe as well and then the rest of it is patent leather. The sides are almost like this foamy sort of creeper plastic material. I don't know how to explain it but I just thought these shoes were very they're like exquisite, really. So the last place I actually shopped at was the H&M and Alexander Wang, I don't know, collaboration that they did. I actually went to the one right down here on Big and 8th Street, I think it is, right above City Target, and I got there at 4.30 in the morning, I decided to wake up at, and I waited until 8.45 till it was my sp space to shop, 
And I was like, I'm going to get the Alexander Wang, like the Wang sweater that was shown everywhere. And so I get in there, there's no more Wang sweaters. I don't even know why, I was so mad. But I had to get something because I waited so long. So I ran to the shoe rack and saw one pair of men's shoes on the rack. It was a size eight and a half. I threw it in my bag. I didn't even look at the size or look at what the actual shoe looked like until I got into the dressing room and I opened it and I was like, these are really cool shoes. The shoes actually look like this. They are a neoprene shoe and they're almost, they look pretty much like a water shoe, but I really liked how this particular shoe actually said Wang on it. A lot of the other ones were just, they're, people would know what they were because they're from like the Wang collection if you looked at it, but if you didn't know, you'd think like, wow, you're actually wearing a water shoe. But this one says Wang on it, and I thought it was just really cool how it had the actual designer name on it to put on. They have no laces, they're basically just like really stretchy and comfortable. They're not super comfortable, I must say. I think I need to break them in, but it's mainly these two little pieces. They like rub against your skin. I got this pair of neoprene pants. I know this is kind of an odd purchase, but I thought that these neoprene pants would be really cool to pair during the upcoming seasons, and the cut on them was a little bit different than anything I have. They're almost like a capri, and I realized why when I got home. These are actually a woman's pant. It said in the tag they were a size 30 waist, and then on the actual physical like tag that you purchased it with, it says it's a size 2 women. So if you're curious, I wear a size 2 in women's clothing. These are a pair of women's pants, but I don't care. I'm going to wear them anyways. The last piece I got is not from any of the stores I mentioned at the beginning. I totally forgot about this one, but these are a pair of Doc Martin Chelsea boots. I am so excited to have these. I have wanted a pair of Chelsea boots really from any company, but... Um, I think these ones are a really great pair. They honestly fit so nicely and they look really, really great on. And the color is just perfect. They're like a really, really black color. I don't even know. But they're leather and they're, it's called the oil black leather that they have on their website if you're curious. So that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the things I shared with you guys. If you have purchased anything recently, let me know. I want to know what you guys purchased in the down bar below. You can also give this video a thumbs up as I think it helps my channel grow. I really don't know, but other people say it, so I'm going to say it too. And also you guys can subscribe to my channel and do anything else you'd like. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Drew Scott. And I also have a fashion blog that I post on multiple times a week. It's imdrewscott.com. I'll put the link in the down bar below for you guys to check it out. And I'm all done with the self-promoting now. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.